Hello and welcome to the Magenta Show and I'm here today with a very very special guest I've been dying to have on the show Adele Sprague and welcome. <laughs> Thank you Moira it's such a pleasure to be here and yeah. to be here with you and I'm looking forward to the colors and color analysis. Oh excellent we're going to play with lots of colors today <laughs> and as you can notice Adele's wearing gold today so we'll talk a little bit about what that gold means too because so I think we want to talk a bit about empowerment today. Yes. Empowering people and 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 what stops them from being self-empowered so it's going to be a very very exciting show okay so this is also a show about you the audience out there and thank you so much for watching for sharing for caring you know if you share 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 the show on your timelines and in groups and on pages that is how we get the message um, of my guests out into the world so this week we are doing a color card pick all right so feel if you are drawn to number one number two or number three and at the end of the show, we're going to tell you what the, the color guidance message for the week is, what you can expect and what color will help you if you wear it or if you um, want to bathe in it or um, maybe do some decorating in that color to help you. Okay, so first of all, um, one of the reasons Adele's been invited is, is I met you about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I met you at um, a Randy Goodman event, I think it was, but you were at the other end of the room and I was at this end and I couldn't, that was my first, one of my first shows in Canada because I was newly arrived. So I didn't have time to connect with you, but I remember thinking, thank God somebody else out there does pattern work because that's you, that's what you are, a repatternist. Yes. yes, that's what I am. We yeah. waved to each other across the we room, did. I remember. Yes. Yeah, I took your business card and put you on my network and, and you very kindly didn't kick me off because you didn't have a clue who I was. <laughs> that was nice. And the second reason we wanted to, to invite you on, the, on and to be a guest on the show is because you are going to be a keynote speaker at the Summer Bash event on the 15th of August. Yes. Jennifer Beale's big summer networking event. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm on at 11 o'clock. So. Good time. Magenta show, 11 o'clock. You're talking. Uh, hey, I talk at 11 o'clock, 11, 11. It's all <laughs> perfect. <laughs> so what is a repatternist, Adele? Well, a repatternist is somebody who knows that they operate through patterns. So mm -hmm. as particularly as entrepreneurs, it's so important that we know that those patterns are actually in control yeah. and not so much our mind, right? Our yeah. mind is, I always say our mind's along for the ride. So. <laughs> our mind is along for the ride. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it rides in on the back of those patterns, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, we, we're all born with patterns and some of them work for us, some of them don't work for us so much. So a repatternist is somebody who knows how to remove the patterns that aren't working yeah. and replace them with optimal patterns that get you to your goal. Okay. All right. So if I came to you idea. and said that I keep repeating something in my life, there's a pattern that keeps repeating and I'm really fed up with it. How, what, what would you do? You, do you work in groups or do you have to see me one to one? How does it work? What is your approach? If I said to you, I have a pattern that keeps repeating and it's and I'm so frustrated, I just want to change it. Yeah, so it's a bit of both. Mm -hmm. um, you're very unique. Every person on this planet is very unique, mm -hmm. right? So I would work with you individually in order to identify those patterns. Okay. So the action is on top of the pattern. So okay. a pattern gives rise to an action. So if we're repeating something like a habit over and over again, and mm -hmm. a pattern is not a habit, I always make that distinction. A pattern is not a habit. I Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. perfect. We yes. tend to collapse those yes, two. Yes, we do, and it's not that they are two totally, totally different, different energies. Yeah. yeah. So one is the action that it comes from the pattern yeah. itself. So we would look and see what that pattern is. So mm -hmm. what's going on that's causing you to want to repeat something over mm -hmm. and over and over again? There's oftentimes some fear, some self-doubt, some confusion, some overwhelm. Mm -hmm. So it's more emotionally based. Yeah. And we would look at, all right, what's happening in your life that is creating that? And then we would go to work just removing that pattern. That process, learning the four-step technique to remove the pattern can be done in group. Yeah. So it's a combination of individual work, group work. And group work. And yeah. Are you going to be talking about this at Jennifer's event the, on the 15th of yes. August? Okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. We're actually going to be looking yeah. at how human beings have been given the wrong operating instructions for millennia. Like <laughs> since the time that we... Blame it on wrong operating <laughs> instructions. <laughs> yeah. Like, excellent. Because we've been taught that this mind of ours yeah. is in control, yeah. right? And we haven't no, understood not, that no. it's not the no, mind at all. No. The mind no. is just going along with what those patterns are. So yeah. once we understand the real operating instructions, life is so effortless yeah. and easy and 
success becomes so much easier. Anywhere we're stopped, we're able to just move past yeah. it with ease. So that's that's what I spread is like yeah. ease and confidence and self empowerment. So and of course, that's what the gold is that you're wearing today. It's all about self empowerment. Gold says ah. empower yourself because the the in and for me with colors, the part of the body that's coded in gold is the solar plexus area where your personal power sits. Beautiful. And it's and that gold says claim your power. You know that gut feeling you get yes. to do something and then you don't because a pattern kicks in and takes you down the old route. That is what the gold is. So I love that you're wearing gold today. Oh, I love it too. <laughs> is it a color that you wear a lot? It is. It yeah, is. yeah. I love my yellows and golds and the rich colors. I don't yeah. know what that means, but the oranges, the reds, creativity, that's... bliss, oh, amb- ambition, all the oh yeah, those are all your colors. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, I also just want, I have a quick look. So you have a book called um, Shift, Four Steps to Personal Empowerment. And first of all, I, I don't know if everybody can see, but I, the we is so nice because it's it kind of stands out in this magenta color. And I really love the white cover too because you, you can see I like white, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like white. But I had a little look. One of the four steps that you wrote about here is to surrender. Yes. And then I, I had a really, and I only just really got hold of Adele's book, but I've already written extracts from it just here this morning on set and totally blown away by it. And thank you. You're going to gift me the book. So I that's am. really nice. And anybody who want the book, you can go to Adele's website and, and get it. Just give them the the address to your website, darling. Sure. It's, it's uh, adelsbragan.com. Adele. So, www.adelesbragan.com. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <Dot com. laughs> All right. I love this here. People often ask, does surrender mean that I just have to accept it? And the answer is no. To accept is to expect the same response next time. Acceptance is equal to giving up. Yeah. I love that. Allowing is the opposite of giving up. To allow is to stand in the center of the fire, feeling every lick of the flames with the courage to not turn away. As you surrender, you let go of the need or desire for your experience to be any different than it is. However, to do this, you must surrender at the level of your body and not at the level of your mind. Oh, hashtag (laughs) moment. Surrender at the level of your body and not the level of your mind. And then you, you give a little explanation here. Recall that your body is always in the now, which makes this experience, at least as far as the body is concerned, eternal and everlasting. To surrender at the level of the body is to align yourself with your body's way of perceiving. Your mind knows things will shift, but your body is simply present to what is. Hallelujah. For self-empowerment, that is the key. And you know something, Adele, why I'm so, I really want to say to people, I think the work you do and this book you do is phenomenal because it mirrors exactly what the system with the colors mm. I do because we say bathe in the bottle. Get your body in contact with the color frequency and not just because you can intend with your mind as many changes you want in your life, but the body resists the change of the patterning. Yes. Exactly. Wowza. Now you see why I wanted to chat with you a long time ago already. <laughs> exactly. That's oh, wow. so key. Yeah. Is, is that the, so when you work with clients and they get to that point when they ask you, you know, what the, what does surrender really mean? Do they get it? Do they do Not they at shift? first. Not okay. at first. And that's why the group work is really important at that stage yeah. because you know, as you're listening to somebody else going through and you can hear what I call the traps or the mind traps, yeah. right? Analysis, justifying, catastrophizing, yeah. um, um, rebelling. Those are all mind traps and they keep us trapped in the yeah. pattern. So as people are listening to each other and they're hearing these mind traps and then somebody gets it, somebody surrenders and the shift happens and they yes. go, oh, right. And now yes. the other people can go, oh, OK, I, I get what they I get what that means and I can do yeah. it now. So yeah. that's really key. Yeah. And, 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 you know, what makes people come to you? What triggers them to seek out your expertise, to seek out your help? And something isn't working. I, typically in business, so I work a lot with entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Um, I do work with couples as well, like yeah. who are on the verge of divorce and they want to give it one more try. So both yeah. of those are my audiences. But it's just something isn't working. You know, typically for an entrepreneur, let's say that there's this sense of 
they're not fulfilled. Yeah. They know that there's this huge potential inside of them. They know that there's just something, some gift that they're trying to bring to the world. And for whatever reason, they yeah. just keep going around in circles, yeah. like you said, yeah. or they're not sure how do you yeah. take the next step, they get confused. So that's all patterns, yeah. and we can remove those patterns, and then whew, they just yeah. they just soar. It's like putting the wing, the wind beneath the wings, that's off right. they go, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, um, I don't know if you're finding it in your market, but certainly the people that I talk to um, about using colors to identify patterns and to change the bodies. Um, when I say to them, you know, what what what's not working or why is it not working, mm -hmm. they all telling me, and this is business people, I mean, this is accountants, bookkeepers, real estate developers, you know, people who aren't financial investors are saying, I want to connect more to my soul. I want to connect mm -hmm. more to a, to a bigger purpose. I don't yes. just want to earn money. And this the, the kind of programs that are out there that says, do one, two, three, and you get X, Y, Z results, you know, the kind of transactional processes aren't working for them anymore. No. They, they're hungry for something that's more transformational, that is more about inner personal work yeah. so I think I think you and I both we we are positioning ourselves in a market where where we're going to be answering a call that's mm -hmm. out there for people to to shift and change things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you, yeah that, you that combination that? Yeah. of materialism with spirituality that now yeah. needs to I mean as you we were talking yeah. before the planet's changing yeah. right yeah. those two are coming together they are and you know actually I can um, because you're new to the whole magenta show um let me this one? Mm hmm And then if you can get me the red one behind you there, Adele. The red the that's one. one. Red yeah. Angel. And then there's a I've got a little purple one here as well. So this is why it's called the magenta show. Because what so that's the colour magenta, but to mix magenta you have to mix a, a combination of violet and red to oh. get that colour. So if you have a look at those two colours through there look at them together they should give you that color there if you look through it yes okay yes. And, and this is this is we call it the magenta way the, it, I had um, uh, um, Bante Saranapala on my, one of my shows and I think it was in season two and he was talking about the Buddhist saying that it's they call it the middle way and yes. what it is is violet is being connected to your soul to a purpose to a higher calling to want to help people to want mm -hmm. to be of service to humanity Red is I have to make money. I have to survive. I've got mm -hmm. to pay bills, and you you can't be in one or the other. You you've so. got to put your feet into both. You must allow money into your life. Mm -hmm. You must like you and I. We we have to teach and we have to say you know yes we want to help you but yes. you got to pay us because mm -hmm. we have bills to pay, and that is magenta. So how do we find that middle way to be of service and yes. to make a difference on the planet? Yes, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I, that's it exactly. It's that balance that we need, right? Yeah. And I find when people People don't have that balance. If they gravitate over here, they get very unhappy. They, they gravitate burn out too. over. They totally mm. burn out. Yes. Yeah. And gravitating this way doesn't really help either because then they're not like they're it's, fluffy. It's fluffy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank and you. I've been there. I've done both. So that's why I'm seeking. <laughs> how do I do the middle yes, way? <laughs> yeah. 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 Because and if you talk too much spirituality, too much fluffy, too much. Oh, let's just all hug and be be great together and let's all be nice together and then you go home at the end of that month you can't pay your bills you're in trouble yes. yeah exactly. You know? and also people can't find you because it's the red world that holds marketing yes your marketing and the strategies you implement to get your message out into the world is a red action yeah because red is about doing things and it's mm -hmm. making things happen mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I find mm -hmm. that people tend to think that this way is incorrect the red way we tend to want to favor this yeah. and really it is that balance like you're talking about that magenta in the yeah. middle is essential yeah. and I, I say in order to get there remove the patterns that are pulling you one way or the other oh right yes so rather than striving yeah. like we all need to stop striving <laughs> rather than striving to try to get yeah. to a goal that we yeah. feel that we're not at the moment yeah. in other words we're trying to fix ourselves yeah. right instead just remove what's not working remove what's it's not remove what's way. not working okay you've heard it straight here from Adele Spragan yeah the repatternist, an expert <laughs> in helping you with your patterns. <laughs> oh, fabulous. So what I'd like to do is I would like to help you with something. All because right. one, one of the, we, this is a new season and we're kind of experimenting with new formats, new sets, new layouts. For those of you who watched episode one and two with our first guest uh, in season four, you'll see that we kind of changed the layout again today. We're trying different positions. We're trying to, to maximize the experience for our guests as well. And one of the things we do is 
we like to offer you some advice using color or some uh, have a conversation around an issue that you might be having Beautiful. or that you think you'd like to improve on so what can i do to okay. help you all right so i think what i'd like is mm -hmm. i'd love to find a way to really spread this message about patterns that okay. you and i play with far and wide yeah. because as far as i can see as we were talking about earlier we were talking about the changes on the planet yeah. and honestly personal empowerment knowing our patterns, being able to respond to our patterns is the way of the future. So how do we get that message out as best we can, as far as we can, and in a way that supports everybody and wow. the planet and ourselves? That, that's that's, that's <laughs> a <laughs> huge question. question. And I am sure that the audience out there have got a similar problem. They, mm -hmm. they must have this challenge in their business because we're, we're so many of us out there trying to get into that magenta way, trying to get from the red corporate world to make, link some of the spirituality and the service and, and, and find that middle path. And how do we make ourselves known? How do we get the message out there? So I'm going to ask you to pick me a color bottle. So please right. have a look. I will reach on this side for you if there's anything here on this side, or you're welcome to go pick a bottle on that side and you're okay. going to pop it on the lighting box for me. All right. So the question uh, I was here. really drawn to two. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. You can bring two out. Oh, yes, okay. absolutely. This one, I'm really intrigued by. Wow, okay. I think that's a beautiful one. And um, what was the other one? I think it was on your side. Okay. That blue, the, the one that looks like the ocean, yes. Blue, blue today. That's not like me. I'm usually oranges, reds, and yellows. So. Complimentary <laughs> color to oranges. I'm blue. really surprised by this blue, blue. Okay. <laughs> well, this is this is really interesting because G. This is G19, and it's platinum. Uh -huh. So that's solid platinum and pale platinum at the bottom, and then this is C5, which is blue and pale blue, which is to do with the throat color. You know, the sh they call them the chakras, chakras yeah. but this is to do, this is the chakra throat bottle. All right, so. Can I just interrupt for one quick second? I asked Moira about platinum <laughs> just before we started. I had no idea. <laughs> coincidence no well done no synchronicity it, it, it is it is you can't make the stuff up you know how this works so Adele this would be what the color is is giving advice for you specifically but I think it really would be relevant to the audience out there as well if you have got a similar issue right now first of all the 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 G19 um, 19 is about um, about the, it, it's traditionally the number that says you, you own heaven you so in numerology because I did a, do a bit of numerology with the color as well it really says here that you own heaven you can you you the prince of heaven you can do whatever you like and you can be a leader and you can um, you know you you it, it's visionary platinum is very visionary it's very mm. much around this part of the body so it's about having a vision and saying i can lead and show others how to become leaders all right so i, I feel that if you don't already if you don't already create facilitators of your shift program you need to be creating facilitators oh. okay so that will help get the word out so duplicating yourself in other words yes all right mirroring because platinum has a little bit of a mirror quality as well so it's, it's so very close to silver but it says you know mirror mirror more of you and let other people become facilitators of 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 the work you do as well train them how to do it okay Lovely. all right the and the other thing about platinum is it's sound sound therapy it's about it's about communication using sound you need to be doing podcasting oh yes podcasting okay. and and the reason i say podcasting is because you know nowadays people when they drive to work and uh, they don't always listen to the radio stations they listen to their favorite podcasts right yes. and if you can do podcasts with between 15 minutes and 20 minutes not because well, you know 19 is just before you get to 20 minutes so it's kind of just under 19 minutes and just a minute or two over 19 minutes long that's the length that they will listen to you so you can do oh. lectures or you can even interview people and talk about their patterns or maybe record a session live with a client um, that you're busy working with and have that go out as a podcast oh lovely okay. now I believe you have your man your managers with us here in background she in this, she's in the studio she here behind is. us Doris so I'm hoping Doris has heard that <laughs> now, thumbs up have you have you done podcasting before I haven't yet no yeah, no yeah. 
I, th- yeah, I think uh, that would be something something to explore. You and I have a mutual acquaintance um, with Dwayne um, mm-hmm. and Richards, and he does podcasting, and he taught me podcasting, and he's yeah. taught a group of my students um, podcasting as well. Some of them have actually gone and done it. So you know, it might be worth c- connecting with him definitely. and saying, okay, what do I do to to move forward with this? Yeah. I th- I, but I think it needs to be in, like we are doing, kind of sitting in an interview in front of the camera. We need to be doing it that way. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So, so not not so much a podcast that's oral. It's more I, visual. Well. At this point, at this point, it's oral. It's that's how you're going to start, okay. and you can do it on camera and then take the uh, the, oh, the recording, course. the audio recording, and put that on podcast as well. Yes, yeah. yes. But All the right. C five is is teacher trainer. This is about mm. you teaching your facilitators how to do what you do. Mm-hmm. So this whole thing is communication. It's sound. It's um, putting yourself out, uh, making yourself visible, and. Yeah, and and taking it taking it into people's cars. It, it's like taking okay. it into where they switch their radios and or their you know when they're walking to work, catching the bus, and they got their earphones on, and they're listening to podcasts. Lovely. So that would be um, a really good way for you to to get it out. But it needs to be real. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes just doing a lecture and saying this is what repatterning means and this is what it means to do this and that. It's not always what people want, but they they want the human connection, the human factor. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Any okay, right? Do you want to pick another bottle? Let's see where this will take you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay. What's what's next? Oh. I don't know why it was the more blue. <laughs> <laughs> She's on a blue street I'm on a today. Blue street. <laughs> so this one is bottle 29 and it's it's about the spiritual Olympian athlete. So I feel that the audience that's going to tune in with you are people that are um, open to accelerating some kind of spiritual or self-searching or, or personal growth and development work because there sits the magenta underneath saying you know what we were spoke about earlier trying to find that balance between yeah. the two worlds the red and the violet world so I think you're going to be putting people like that in but then um, the turquoise on top is about emotional healing because you know those are the main patterns it's mm-hmm. the emotional patterns and and they really going to listen to what you say here and they're going to want you to help them but you're going to get busy you're going to need other facilitators beautiful i love it okay all right so pete so it's kind of this olympian gold medal silver medal um bronze medal kind of um client that's going to come to you they they will be committed to see this through they'll be so inspired by your by your podcasting and your um and you know if you're going to do a, a, a tv show like this a live broadcast they will be very inspired Lovely. And and okay. so by that, you mean those are those people who are looking for a bigger life. Those They want to be fulfilled. They yeah. know the more potential. Yeah. Because this, this number very often in this bottle's energy relates to the wounded child. People mm. who've had those wounded childhood mm-hmm. experiences. Yes. And they, they get to that. They, they get to the age of 29 or, or older and they go, okay, I, right. I can't blame my parents anymore for what doesn't work for my life. I'm now ready to, you know, to examine myself because mm-hmm. a common denominator in all my problems actually my parents I left home when I was 18 and now I'm 29 and I'm still making mistakes so actually it probably is me so they're at that stage I'm ready to look at that pattern right and 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 shift it yeah yes lovely yes what Beautiful. else would you like to know what else would I like to know oh boy um <laughs> <laughs> let's see okay what is the um facilitators where should I be looking to find them or okay pick a bottle all right (laughs) pick a bottle (laughs) pick a bottle I find myself wanting to move away from the blues but only because I picked the blues so I shouldn't do that right you can do whatever you draw to just pick which I want to draw to all right what about that purple orange in the middle there yeah that's kind of interesting let's go with that one purple and orange (laughs) you want to put it on the table somewhere uh, should we put it here so everybody can see it? Okay. okay. So this oh, it's one, 19 again. It's 19 again, and this is actually the Prince of Heaven bottle. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it's magenta on top and gold underneath. So what you have here is you don't have to go looking for them. They're going to turn up. They're going to be like diamonds in the rough. They're going to be people who understand the work you've done. They might even have been clients of yours that have been so blown away that they say, I would like to do what you're doing. They're just going to turn up. Oh, lovely. Okay. And you're, and, and what, what you're going to be doing is you're going to build up a group of 19. 
Oh, isn't that nice? Oh my god! I like that <laughs> because there's number. nineteen. There's nineteen keeps coming up. So you're gonna you're gonna build up a group of of nineteen facilitators that are able to do the work for you. And you need to make sure that this is a program that you can do online as well. Because I feel that this can go anywhere in the world. Mm-hmm. You're not just now um, connected here to 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 the Canadian swell. This because of podcasting and anything visual that you put out there, it's going to touch people all over the world in Lovely. different parts that you might not be thinking about. Lovely. So. It might even and in, in England feels quite um, mm-hmm. strong as well, mm-hmm. you know. And I know you you're from that area. You from from uh, and I've had Cheshire. a number of clients in England. Yes, right. that that there's somebody yeah. there that that will take it for you as well. Okay. Okay. Oh, I like this. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have another question? Another question. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, yes. How big was this going to get? Um, <laughs> I love expansion <laughs> questions. <laughs> Pick a bottle. <laughs> Can we go? <laughs> Just one bottle, mind you, not all of them. <laughs> oh, um. okay. I'm going for the rich colors here. Oh, so. wow, beautiful. Okay. Is it a 19? It's a 32. 32. <laughs> now more 19. <laughs> All right, so this is this is the royal blue sitting on top of this deep olive, and it's called a communication bottle. All mm. right, and three and two makes five, and five is about a global network. It, it's energy that just goes out into the world. So th- again, what I was thinking here, you know, with your nineteen, is like a core group of nineteen people that's going to be very powerful, and they are the ones that will take it because you've just, just positioned it in front here, which says they are the ones who's going to take it out into the world and market it for you, which means you don't have to do all the marketing. So part of the training you'll give them is to be a repatternist, but also to get them to write their book, to get them to um, to market themselves, to get them to have their own podcast. So literally duplicating all the aspects of who you are, they will each be doing that marketing themselves, which means there's no limits here. This oh, is this it. can be as big as you want it to be. Oh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> is that right. answer the question? That is beautiful. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Yes. All right. Would you like to arrange your bottles in a shape or a pattern for me, please? This is something new we haven't done on the show this yet. This is fascinating. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go with that. Did you want to pick another bottle? One more? All right. And then put it in your pattern. Okay. I'm going to go with this one right here. Put it in my pattern. Wow. Uranus number four. Blasting the energy into the universe. Changing. This is this is the one that changes people's patterns instantly. It's like having electric oh. shock therapy on the body, and it just says literally blasting um, the world open with um, um, with your with your your programs and the way that you teach repatterning. And I like that it's in this kind of a U crescent shape, which to me is like a bowl, mm. you know. Which is I'm offering this to the world. I'm offering this repatterning to the world, and it's going to give people a new beginning. Definitely, oh, okay. yeah. It just feels really very safely held. All the blues is about it's safe, it's time. Um, you know, you can let go, you can surrender. Mm. <laughs> you, you really just, it's time. Yeah, it, oh, it's lovely. time to, to change the blueprint of your life. Yeah, lovely. I, I love it. But the four is very powerful because it's 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 linked to the Uranus energy. You know, planets are symbolic. We look mm. at the astrology and numerology as symbols, some mm. s- symbolic language, our color. And this is this is just saying um, you're going to go out and change patterns in a big way, global, not just not just individual, but group and you know. Beautiful. Make make a dent in the consciousness so that people stop fearing and doing silly stuff yes. like you, you know we just heard on the news this morning about yes. another mass shooting in Toronto. It was just you know it's just people go round and round in their heads and they get stuck in that shadow pattern and they can't come out of it because yeah. they don't do the healing. Yeah. So um, yeah, I yes. think you're going to be a spokesperson for that. Be able to talk about it in a big way. Beautiful. Get ready for more speaker events yes oh i look forward to it <laughs> yes. public speaking yes <laughs> right. okay so we have to move on to our audience's pick and we are going to have a look so we're going to so do we just, move these yeah we're going to move these are you okay to move them yeah can absolutely we move should them i put them back there just for a little while okay. just while we play with the audience so we've got three cards that have been picked for you the audience those of you who have picked card number one you have picked 
Adele's choice, and mm-hmm. it is the Magenta Bridge and Panic. <laughs> and now that you know what the Magenta story is, yes. <laughs> you get it, right? Yes. <laughs> so you picked Magenta before you knew we were going to talk about the Magenta story. So if you are currently in a space where you feel overwhelmed, stressed, um, in a state of confusion, you're not sure which way to go. This is a color that symbolically says you just got to unpanic at this point mm. because this is now beyond your control. This mm-hmm. is now the universe has stepped in and it's going to shift you to where you need to be. So you might as well surrender. surrender. <laughs> <laughs> it's the word of the day. <laughs> it's the word of the day. <laughs> I love that. So for those of you who pick number one, surrender. This is God's plan or the universe's plan, whatever you call it. It is a much bigger picture unfolding for you than what you think it's going to be. And I think that says a lot about that reading we just had for you. It's a much bigger picture than you think it's going to be. Yes. And if I can add, I suffered from 10 years of daily panic attacks. Oh, wow. Daily. And so unpanic for me is, yes. Perfect. Perfect. It's the perfect (laughs) card. I might as well give you this. Don't panic on the show. (laughs) Oh, no, they're all gone now. I repatterned it. (laughs) There you go. Yes. It does work. Yeah. It does work. Well, that's yeah. why we do and, and teach the mm, systems and the books good. we do because we know it works. Yes, yeah? exactly. And then your beautiful Doris, your manager's here today, and she picked the green dragon, decisions and changes. So those of you who picked number two with Doris, well, my darlings, you have got a decision to make. You can't sit on the fence anymore. You want to make up your mind. And it's a, to do with moving because very often the, the, the dragon symbolically says moving house, moving office, moving career. Something about moving yourself from one space to the next or looking for a space that you can move into that is going to feel clear and fresh and give you a new beginning. So a little bit of research for those of you who got the green dragon on, as your number two. If you're thinking about moving anywhere, just do the research and get the energy. that Get that ball rolling. That, that's really what we're saying. So I hope, I hope for you, Doris, that that's useful. She's not moving away from you, though. <laughs> just let you know. She better not. <laughs> no. <laughs> this, is, this, to me, feels like it's another move. <laughs> Live on air. Can you imagine? <laughs> Doris, you're not allowed to move. And then the third one I picked today. And that is pink love and money, and it's all about partnerships, mm. love, romance, and and bringing bringing balance into into our relationships with money and with other people as well. So it's a big it's a big call this pink card, and it's so interesting because when I went to um, I went to look at for flowers yesterday, um, for one of my um, one of my tables upstairs. And I don't normally buy pink flowers. I'm not a pink flower person. And I went and bought pink flowers. Yeah. And uh, so if if you find that the pink love and money energy is coming up for you this week, buy pink flowers, romance yourself. Um, I want you to also do a very simple exercise for me. So I want you to go and take your purses, your wallets, you know, with any receptacle that you have that you put your money in. And I want you to make sure that it's beautiful, that there's no stitches, there's no scuffing, that there's no, no dirtiness, that the receipts have been taken out, money's nicely laid out. I want you to, to put the energy of love into money, all right? When you do that, automatically a little bit of romance and other opportunities for love start coming in as well. So it's a little practical, practical, grounded advice yes. is to go and look at your wallets and your purses. Love them, all right? Go tidy them up. Or buy a new one, go shopping. And that creates that bridge, too, that we were talking about, yeah. right? To take care of your money would be... Yeah, but you must. It. You must take care of the yes. physical... Um, it, it's so often um, when I have clients come to me and they say to me, oh, I'm having issues with money. One of the first things I'll say to them is, show me your wallet. Show yes. me your purse. Yeah. And it tells you straight away, are they in a poverty pattern? What 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 kind of pattern that they stuck in? And it opens the conversation to say, mm, you know, you, you're not receiving money. You you've really have some patterns. And it tends to be from the family. Yes. You know, mom and dad yes. or grandma dad or they did yeah. those patterns right yes that's it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a really interesting quick quick test right how's your wallet <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful yeah <laughs> all right Adele thank you so much for for being oh, our guest you. here today it's been absolutely wonderful to chat with you it's so nice to have somebody you know like-minded to chat and and yes. to know that there's so many different ways you can identify patterns. And Adele has a wonderful system, and it's called the Four Step Personal Empowerment System in Shift. You can shift it. I do it with color. And obviously, you know, this is the way forward. This is sure. really obviously, this is the way forward. If you don't change your patterns, nothing in your life is going to change. Okay? 
Now, um, please remember again that if you want to see Adele and myself in person and come and chat to us about your patterns, <laughs> yeah. Adele is the keynote speaker at Jennifer Beale's Summer Bash event on the 15th of August. Yeah. And, you're and I also have a booth there. So you can and, oh, we've got a booth as well? Yes, Excellent. Yes. I've got a booth too. So come and chat to us. Come and meet us. Maybe Jennifer can arrange to have us, have us close so we can, we can carry on this conversation. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. We'll get side by side. <laughs> there you go. So come and see us, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to share, share, share the show if you found it valuable throughout the week so it can continue to pop up on the news feeds we deeply appreciate it because I, I do believe that Adele has a very important message to help entrepreneurs out there so help me to share it please and thank you to Miss Shannon Fraser for producing us and um, she's been helping us for the past three weeks while um, Michael who's my manager has been away on holiday in Italy and England he'll be back at the next show so Shannon a heartfelt thank you to you as well my darling thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you so much, Moira. That was so interesting. Thank you.